What's going on guys? My name is Orphid. And am I making a video? <laughs> yes, I'm making a video. Now shut the fuck up. I'm here to talk about games today. I'm just kidding. I'm here to talk about movies today because in the past like week and a half, I've seen The Joker and I've seen Into the Spider-Verse finally. I know I'm late. I know better late than never. Let me live, please. So in the background, I have some Borderlands 3 gameplay. Game is very, very good. I love it. Uh, even though there's a few things Gearbox is doing I'm not too fond of, but we'll see how they progress with you know updating the game and making sure it stays fresh. But that, that's another topic. It's for another video. So like I said, I'm here today to talk about the Joker. I'm going to give like an overview. I'm not going to give any spoilers, so if you haven't seen a movie, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to talk about what I thought of it, what I thought of uh, Joaquin Phoenix's performance, how it stacks up to Heath Ledger, in my opinion, all of that fun stuff. So, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. So, this movie is an origin story. If you're going to see the movie and you don't know that, I think it is imperative that you understand it's an origin story. Um, they're taking a look at, you know, what it could take to drive a character like the Joker to become the iconic clown prince. Uh, to my understanding, none of the other forms that of, you know, media really gave Joker an origin story. Hell, I don't even think he had a name. Uh, in the comics and the games, he was already established in most cases. Like, you knew who he was. Um, but this movie is very different in that regard. This movie actually gives you a character to start out with. His name is Arthur Fleck, and that's... That's as much as I'll give you as far as details, so as not to spoil anything. Um, the movie pretty much, you know, like I said, it, it portrays what kind of events would need to take place, you know, what kind of psychological things go on in, you know, your everyday life that could lead a person to become who we know as the Joker. So they give you an idea of what his life was like. You know, he had a fairly rough life, constantly running into misfortune, you know, dealing with mental health issues. And those kind of things, you know, they compound on a person to, you know, affect them in a myriad of ways. You know, in most cases, you would hope that it's something that they can deal with. But sometimes, as you can see in this movie and as evident by plenty of people in real life, that's just not enough. And they finally hit that cracking point and there's no going back from there. So, like I said, in this movie, you get to see some of the events that led him down that path. Like I said, I won't go into too much detail, so it's not to spoil anything, but one of my favorite instances in the movie was the moment that you could tell he decided to be Joker, to be somebody he knew he was. Because up until this point, you know, he didn't really have a sense of, like, an identity. He didn't feel important. But there was a clear, distinct moment where you could see it, and it just clicked that he knew this is who I am. This is who I want to be. And um, it was beautiful. It was fucking beautiful. There was plenty of moments in the movie that had the theater, you know, laughing, uh, just dead silence because of the focus, you know, watching this character evolve. And uh, there was a lot of awkward moments in the movie. Uh, Joker's laugh is very, very good. It's, it's a very, very... <laughs> It is, it is a very unsettling laugh. Uh, most times he laughed on screen. I didn't know to laugh with him. You know, I didn't know whether to just kind of sit there and see what was happening. I didn't know whether to feel bad for him. That was the kind of feeling, you know, this, this acting from Joaquin Phoenix evoked. You just, you didn't really know what was going on with this character and, and what he was thinking. And I appreciated that. I appreciated that a lot. Like, there was a couple instances where, you know, Joker would laugh at something. Uh, I was there sitting quiet. I didn't really, you know, I'm trying to assess the situation. And my boy, Daniel, he was right next to me. He would laugh alongside him. And I'm just, I'm thinking, like, that doesn't seem like it's a funny moment. But that's what I mean about that uncertainty and just how much of an awkward situation it could put you in. Joaquin Phoenix, the man himself, masterful acting from him. I think, in my opinion... This is the best iteration of Joker I've seen. Um, I asked people who've seen the movie if there was another Batman movie to be made and Joker was to be the villain. 
in a perfect scenario, who would you rather see play him? You know, Heath Ledger or Joaquin Phoenix? I don't want to say who did the best Joker, because I don't really believe it's a fair comparison, given the roles that they were going for, given the Joker, you know, who he was at the time. It's just not really a fair comparison. But I would like to see Joaquin Phoenix play the Joker in any movie after this for a lot of reasons. Like I said, I won't get into spoilers, but I believe he was absolutely fucking fantastic. It's one of the best performances I've ever seen from an actor. I mean, I don't watch a lot of movies, but that was was very special. Um, Like I said, the movie was really, it was really good. Uh, If you're a fan of Batman and the Joker, I highly recommend seeing it. If you aren't, but you're somewhat interested, I would still recommend going to see it. Very, very good movie. Uh, It deals with a lot of issues, like mainly mental health, you know, places that people can fit in into society, excuse me, a lot of different things. And it gives you, you know, a take on how that could affect a person that you might not have really considered before then. So on to Into the Spider-Verse. This won't be much shorter because, you know, the movie's a lot older. I wanted to see the movie. I'm not a massive comic book fan, but some of them I do take an interest to. And I told myself I was going to see this movie and I just kept delaying it. And it was on Netflix. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let's finally watch it. It was a very, very, very enjoyable movie to watch. The movie hit a bunch of different tones. Uh, It was joyful. You know, there was some seriousness in there. It was frolic. It was, you know, moments that made you laugh. It was very, very well done. Anytime they had a select tone they wanted to hit, I feel like they nailed it on the head. Uh, Miles is an awesome character. You know, I can't wait until he's fleshed out more in the video games that are sure to come that involve him. I really, really enjoyed what I watched. Uh, I would give the movie two thumbs up. Same with Joker. Both movies were incredible. So by some magic chance, if you came across this video and you didn't see either one of these movies, one, what are you doing? Go watch the fucking movies. Um, but yeah, it's I enjoyed my time, basically. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hadn't posted a video in a long time. Uh, life shit, man, I don't know. Who wants to do stuff? Raise your hand if you want to do stuff. I shouldn't see any hands raised. But anyway, thank you again for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take it easy.